Good morning, guys. In today's segment, we'll be talking about Dogecoin, which seems to be ready to do something significant. Does that mean is it ready to rally, or is this just a false signal? That is the focus of this particular segment. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, I highly recommend you to do so. Here is a risk warning and brief disclaimer in front of you. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with your own account managers. Now, before we begin, very briefly about myself, I come with a wealth of 15 years of trading experience. During this time period, I have worked as a hedge fund trader for Bank of New York Mellon, as an equity trader with Bank of America, and currently providing services as a chief analyst for Evertrade. Now, what we see from the chart in front of us is, first of all, this is your daily time frame, as you can see from here, for Dogecoin against the US dollar. What we see over here is that Dogecoin had few of some important events that happened very recently and some of them were like you know the, the first one was back in January 2022 obviously this particular year when the price kind of surged above that 20 cent mark and fairly recently the price once again popped above that 17 set 0.17 cent uh, mark and that event near its 200 day simple moving average this here is your 100 and that is your 50 day simple moving average now the fact that the price is trying to move to the upside and trying to make higher highs in in relation to especially in relation to this particular high uh, if this is a lower high this is a higher high and the price seems to be you know kind of moving to the upside it seems like that there is something which is cooking and we are not entirely aware of that another important aspect when it comes to this particular price action is that we also seems to have so we, we also have like sort of this uh, reverse head and shoulder pattern formed being your shoulder being over here your head being over here and then the other shoulder being over here this is a slightly bit more complex shoulder but it is there and then if it breaks to the upside then we are really looking at the extension from here to for, to here which is your uh, all the way to your neck and then projecting that move from you know by another five cent is really pretty much pushing the prices towards this particular price action to so this particular resistance over here so that 24 i mean that could happen and that that's especially true if the price sort of breaks it's what we called you know uh, it's the, uh, this particular price level, i.e., your your uh, 50 day simple, uh, your 100 day simple moving average. If price breaks this particular price, uh, this moving average, and moves higher from here, then you know that re reverse head and shoulder pattern and the projection of that, which is right over here, is highly highly likely. And then in order for that to happen. What we really need to focus on is can the momentum in the coming days can it break above the highs of this particular candle which is in around that 16 0.16 sort of a mark because if we do then certainly means that we are moving from here onwards to the next particular price levels now one particular question that traders may want to ask themselves is that okay where is the next important resistance level in terms of the price level uh, price action now you know that if you've seen any of my previous videos i always try to keep my resistance lines in gr uh, red and all of my support lines in green so for me the resistance the next important resistance is on top of these particular candle on the top of this one to the high of this particular candle so if we just slightly adjust that to right over here so that's 0 0.20 to 0 0.21 
is the next meaningful resistance level and then just like how we have the next meaningful support level of 0 0.10 to 0 0.11 and in between that what we really have is a smaller sort of a resistance point and the price uh, 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 and the focus really is that can the price continue to break these meaningful resistance levels i.e your 100 day simple moving average the high of this particular one then your 200 day simple moving average and then of course what comes next is your that important uh, resistance level so these are the sort of a small uh, sort of a price levels that we kind of wanted to keep an eye on but in terms of the RSI the RSI is very much indicating that the, it is trading in a downward trend moving away from its overbought area but it is still not close enough to its oversold area so kind of trading in between those particular zones right where the price is trading now is 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 over here so the indication is that yes we do have a tendency that the, that the price can move up because the rsi isn't really signaling us that the prices are way overbought and that we should be mindful of anything or we should be worried about anything well well, let's continue to monitor the price action and we'll be back with more analysis in the meantime. That's all for now. See you guys next time.